два. Ебать, осколки сейчас будут ебашить, нахуй. Прячься, нахуй. Shalom, shalom. All praise, glory, and honor be unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Machakwadash. Peace and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom unto the elect of the nation of Israel. This right here is going to be another update on the third woe, which is World War III according to the Holy Bible. And it says here, you know, I just showed the clip from the sun. That's a website, All right? News website says missile fears, World War Three fears spiral after Vladimir Putin's missile roar into Polish airspace during Ukraine blitz. Allied warplanes were scrambled to counter the dangerous incursion near the town of Osserdal. This is breaking news, March 24th, 2024. All right. So, World War Three, three fears. This is World War Three fears spiraled after a Russian missile roared into Polish airspace during the blitz of Ukraine. Vladimir Putin's 57 missile onslaught plus a drone attack hammered critical infrastructure in Kiev and the western Ukrainian region of Lviv. Okay. You see this puppet <laughs> and um, it says but one of the Russian cruise missiles stayed over NATO territory in Poland for 39 seconds triggering a major alert and fears of an escalation okay so you can see that um, that is a major deal because now you're getting into Polish airspace all right So that's a major deal because we know that um, Poland is a part of NATO. Okay. So. So going into uh, how it applies to prophecy, things are escalating. All right. And we're in the midst of the Passover, the Feast of Unleavened Bread. So we know things are going to escalate. And who is the one controlling it? Proverbs 21 and 1. The king's heart is in the hand of Yahweh. As the river of as the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. So the Lord is turning the minds. Let's get the scripture where it mentions the hook in their jaw. Yep. Ezekiel 38 and 4. And I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws. And who's it talking about? All right, when we go to Ezekiel 38 and 3 and say, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, behold, I am against thee, O Gog, the chief, chief prince of Meshach and Tubal. So Gog is referring to Russia. Okay. And I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws and I will bring thee forth and all thine army, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor. Even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. And the modern day sword is the missiles. All right. So turning them back, meaning that he's going to bring them. He's the one turning them. He's the one putting the hook in their jaw. And the, and the Lord likens the heathen nations unto beasts, putting the hook in their jaw to turn them back. All right. And having this great company. OK. What are the countries that's with them? Persia, Ethiopia. The modern day Iran is Persia, Ethiopia and Libya. All these are allied with Russia and Libya with them, all of them with shield and helmet. Gomer and all of, and all his bands, the house of Togoma of the north quarters and all his bands and many people with thee. right Gomer going into Turkey. All right. So you have these nations that are allied up, even though uh, Turkey is on the fence you know but inevitably they're gonna side with Russia 
Okay, be thou prepared and prepare for thyself, thou and all the all thy company that are assembled unto thee, and be thou a guard unto them. So how are they being a guard? Well, Russia is is the bear that's going to come and protect those other nations. All right. Well, it's it's, it's you know these are the alliances. Just like if uh, if NATO was attacked, and uh, inevitably the U.S. has to be a guard to them, has to protect them. But it's going to be it's going to be more um, evident that. America is the enemy of all nations, including the EU nations, and they're going to turn on America as well. This is uh, Revelation 9 and 12. One woe is past, and behold, there come two woes more hereafter. Okay, so all of these things that we're hearing about wars and rumors, which I'm going to grab that as well. Wars and rumors. Matthew 24 and 6, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Yeah, right. Don't be troubled because the wars and rumors of wars has been going on for years. But it's not just the wars and rumors of wars. Now it's actual um, conflicts. And also watching for, because wars has been happening for a while, right? But World War Three has been a common talking point since this whole Russia Ukraine thing, and now you have Iran involved with the whole thing with uh, Gaza and Israel. So it's all being brought together. The pieces of the puzzle are in their right place. So now we see that these things are close to being fulfilled. Not only that, but the chip, the mark of the beast prophecy being fulfilled. So it all coincides together. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. So these are the signs of the coming of the Lord, Yahweh Shai. All these are the beginning of sorrow. So we're at the beginning of sorrows. We're coming into that time now. You see, more violence. The love of many shall wax cold. All right. And I'll, I'll jump to that. All right. Uh, Matthew 24 and 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. So that's what we have to strive to do no matter what. And no matter what brothers are going through, got to endure in this thing. All right. So but what's happening with the world? The, the, the iniquity is abounding. Iniquity is, is, is uh, all over the place. The love of many shall wax cold. So that's what's happening. Ain't no love in the heart of the city. And these cities are going to be the worst place. <laughs> you, you know, when when all when the shit hits the fan, man. All right. But what we're seeing is. The fulfillment. Of prophecy, of biblical prophecy. All right. Second Ezra 15 to one. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people. The words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. So Russia advancing on Ukraine, uh, launching a major blitz, all this coinciding. The spring is about to come. And uh, it's a lot easier to do do a lot of things when it comes to war, when it's uh, the, when the weather is nicer. You see, when it's not the harsh cold of the winter, you know, you know, the, the, the spring coming it means more bloodshed. All right, which it should be a time of life and joy when uh, spring comes and life returns and the trees get green again. But in this world, it becomes a time of death. Just like the summertime in New York City. New York City always has a uh, has a bloody summertime, man. <laughs> and nigga 50 Cent had this line always sticks in my mind. He said, in the hood, summertime is the killing season. It's hot out this bitch. That's a good enough reason. And um, that's the that's how Jake operates in the hood, all right. Because hey, you think the weather's nice, like niggas would let it go, but the hotter it gets, it seems like it just drives people mad. You know, especially our people, really everybody. You know, but especially you know, you got these Jakes in the hood; they're ready to snap about anything. Stabbings are gonna be up. Um, you know, you're gonna have more shootings, more more bodies piling up. It's guaranteed. It ain't a matter of uh, may maybe it might be some judgment this summer. Look out for that. No, it's guaranteed to happen. Because the Lord said every morning, 
he brings brings judgment. See if I can find that. Let me see. Let me see. Yep, Zephaniah 3 and 5. The just Yahweh is in the midst thereof. He would not do iniquity. Every morning doth he bring his judgment to light. He fail he faileth not, but the unjust knoweth no know, knoweth no shame. Alright, Esau Edom, the wicked of our people, the heathen nations. Everybody's against us. But we know that our power, his name is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai. He's gonna bring that judgment. He always brings his judgment to light. He faileth not. So this summer is going to be a summer of judgment. This summer is going to be a summer of escalation. Uh, you know, things are going to get crazy, man. We know it. And building up to the election that's that's happening at the end of the year, it's guaranteed to go down. It's guaranteed for things to get crazy. You got the Civil War movie coming out. All right. So, you know, what is the what is being revealed is that we're at the end. We're very close to the return of Yahweh Shai. All right. And being in the Passover, being in the in the mindset. All right. Passover is a time of self-examination and it is a fearful time because the scripture says that those that have ate unworthily, many of them are, are, are weak and sick, afflicted and sleep, meaning got put to death because they ate of that um, of that feast of that. um of the Passover sacrifice, you know, unworthily, not discerning the Lord's body, not being in the right spirit. So we all got to examine ourselves. It's fearful, man. We should fear Yahweh Hashem Yahusha. We shouldn't be moving willy nilly out here. We all gonna fall short, but then there's a then there's willful foolishness, you know. Then there's a, there's levels to it. You know, we all got to work out our own salvation with fear and trembling at the end of the day. So every brother has, every brother knows his own walk, his own weaknesses, his own strengths, his own fuck ups, his own um, successes and victories in this thing. So we all got to, you know, the scripture says, know ye not your own selves. You know, so we watch for these things because it's signs of where we at and it's signs that we, we ain't got a whole lot of time to be just you know, messing around and, you know, playing games. So this is deadly serious and we got to take it like that. You know, so Lord's will, this is edifying. All praise, glory, and honor be unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Chakwadash. Shalom to the next one.